There's a couple of questions here about um, the possibility of a constitutional convention to adopt an amendment. Can you comment on that? Yeah, so as, as the judge said, there, um, under Article 5, and I mentioned the Congress, two-thirds of Congress proposing an amendment, but then gets ratified in 38 states, or three-quarters of the states. But Article 5 also has an interesting provision that says um, the amendment can be proposed by a convention called by two-thirds of the states. And then that's proposed. It still needs to get ratified by the 38 states, three-quarters of the states. Now, that's never been done. All the amendments have come through Congress. So there's uh, naturally some fear about we've never had a convention, what would happen. People, I think we have a sort of um, national memory of um, how our Constitution was made in a way that's good, but it was also they went to Philadelphia in 1787 um, for a convention and came out with a completely different government and under our Constitution. And so there's concern about what, what if that happened in the Constitutional Convention now? Um, what kind of amendments might we get? And so that's a good conversation and debate to have. As I said at American Promise, we're about the goal and unifying the many different paths to get to that goal. So we encourage people to learn about the, um, the concerns about a convention, but also to listen to the answers of those who are saying that Congress is so corrupted now that to get two-thirds, we have to at least threaten that that convention might be called. And, and they have some good basis for that. The 17th Amendment, um, I believe it was, is how we elect senators. Uh, you may recall, senators used to not be elected by the people. They didn't face the voters. And a constitutional amendment, because the Senate was bought by special interests, said the senators are going to have to face the voters. Now, you can imagine senators that were in power under that old system didn't want to change the system and actually have to go back and face voters. Uh, but they were two states short of a constitutional convention to propose that amendment. And the Senate, like many people, had concerns about a convention and said, okay, 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 we'll do it. And they voted two-thirds for the 17th Amendment. It got ratified in 38 states. So um, there is a, a good convention debate. We'll be having, we have that in American Promise. We have members of American Promise who are concerned and fear a convention, and we have members who support and are pushing for a convention. We think, again, that's a healthy ecosystem. We can learn from each other, and that the best, the best solutions are everybody putting their shoulder to the wheel and I'm pretty confident that um, we will have this amendment proposed by two-thirds of Congress. And whether that's because they fear a convention um, or whether it's because we move so fast. So if you fear a convention, I'd urge you the best way to prevent a convention is to get it out of Congress. So don't just fight against the convention idea. Fight for a constitutional amendment that's proposed by Congress so that the convention conversation gets finished and moot. We'll then be doing ratification instead of debating a method to get there. So that's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's an important question and an important issue.